essentially I'm a pretty curious artist. Um, when I'm working in the studio, uh, making pieces, uh, quite often the question I ask myself is, what if? What if I made a whole bunch of porcelain tubes that were translucent? How would I support them? And then suddenly you need metal to be doing that. So um, it's that curiosity about how to push myself and how to take the work a little bit further. I am a ceramics artist. I've been working in clay since 1995. I started off doing very functional work, bowls, plates, and mugs, um, and slowly have been incorporating sculpture into my practice. And uh, this exhibition allows me to indulge the sculptural side of my work. This exhibition, I set the challenge for myself that every ceramic piece in my exhibition also had to have a non-ceramic component. So working with bone, metal, glass, uh, found objects, plastics, and, and so on. So very much uh, mixed media work. So I leave a tail, mm -hmm. and I have a loop up at the top here going down about an inch and the first couple wraps are the slow ones and I, then I just build it up so that I've got that taper almost like a stem. The glass work I've done all myself. Uh, I was fortunate enough to take a class with uh, Lee Brady eight months ago. So this is all very much baby steps, beginner steps. So it, it was quite exciting to open up the glass kiln and see the pieces and realize that, yeah, what I had planned and thought about actually had turned out. Some of the metal work I did through sculpture class uh, with Leslie Potter. Some of the forging I did with the Sisters of Fire through Craig Campbell. And the large fabricated screens were done by uh, Rob Sexhauser of Dragonfly uh, Artistic Metals uh, based on my designs. I haven't worked a lot with porcelain. Um, simply because porcelain is, is a beautiful material when it is thin and translucent. And uh, most of the work that I do is a little more hefty and organic. So the porcelain screens allowed me this time to really capitalize on that translucency of porcelain. So um, there was a learning curve with the porcelain. Uh, I made a set of porcelain tubes. Uh, they turned out great. And then my second set all cracked because porcelain can be a bit of a diva. So there was a learning curve um, about three months ago when all my porcelain was cracking and had to make some adjustments there, but it all turned out well. I have to confess, I did use toilet, pa toilet paper rolls as one of the forms. I've mocked it up, yes, but I've also realized that it's like doing a little bit like a puzzle every time it's going to change slightly. The lovely thing about having an exhibition is that you can work large and you can work in a bigger space. I have a very tiny studio, I have a small house. Uh, so being able to work with three screens that take up the front of the, the gallery was just an amazing opportunity. And then to fill them with 600 and so porcelain tubes that are translucent um, was really an exciting thing. It was an incredibly humbling experience um, and frustrating at times because I knew what I could be doing with the clay and thinking, oh, well, I could do this with metal or glass and suddenly discovering that, no, it doesn't want to do that. I teach uh, beginner pottery classes through the Saskatoon Potters Guild and it gave me great empathy for my students who are just starting off because a lot of the times it was like, oh, how am I going to get this to work? I think also invigorating uh, because when it clicked it was very cool to kind of go, yeah, this is actually going to work.
as, as I said, I have a very tiny studio. My studio is like 10 by 10, and that houses my wheel and my workbench and my kiln. So really, work comes out of the out of the studio and promptly goes into the house and sometimes it's um, in a box, sometimes it's under the kitchen table, sometimes it's on the fireplace. So I really haven't seen all this body of work in a large space. So it's, uh, it's a great um, opportunity to see it as a body of work instead of just individual pieces coming out of the kiln. So the title of the show is Mix and it's just reflecting the fact that there is a mix of media in with my ceramic work. It's at the Affinity Gallery on Broadway and will be up until October 18th. If you have program ideas that you'd like to see on Max TV Local On Demand, write us at max.local at sastel.com. Max TV programming is now available on Max TV On The Go at maxTVOnTheGo.sastel.com.